What up, what up? Winbush here, and today I'm excited to let you guys know that Epic has officially released Unreal Engine version 4.23. Now what that means for us is now we can take our Cinema 4D projects, bring them directly into Unreal, and have them play back in real time, and that includes using the MoGraph module. So without further ado, let me just get right into it. Okay, so first we're gonna get started with Cinema 4D. I'm just gonna make an example project just to kind of show you guys the workflow. So I'm gonna start off with the cube here. Then I'm gonna go up to MoGraph, come down to Cloner, and actually just bring my cube into my Cloner. In my Cloner settings, let's make this, uh, let's make it a grid array. Bring this down to one. And then let's make this 2000 by like 2000, like so. Okay, so let's zoom all the way out. Let's make this 20 by 20. You could probably extend this out more, say 4,000 by 4,000. Okay, so something like this, we have a nice grid here made with our MoGraph cloner. And so just to add a little bit of animation to this, I'm gonna come up to MoGraph Come down to Effector and just use Formula and then click Play. And you see we get this cool MoGraph animation using the formula. It's looping, it's only 90 frames here. And so what I wanna do from here is I wanna take my cloner and actually, I think I need to bake this. So let me go down to my MoGraph tags, come over to MoGraph cache, and then I'm just gonna bake it. And now I have my animation baked. So our next step from here is to go up to file, come down to save project for Melange. We don't want to just save it as we want to save as Melange because that's what Unreal is going to recognize. So I hit save as Melange, find where I want to save it at. And then I just name this one UE4 version one, click save and wait for this to save up. It should only take a few seconds. Okay, then from here, I'm just gonna open up Unreal and I can actually delete this floor here. And when you first open up Unreal, this is exactly what you're gonna see. And then from here, we wanna come over to the data smith, come down to Cinema 4D, and then we're gonna find where we put that um, a launch file at. So here we are, UE4 version one. I'm going to open this up and you can put it into a folder or you can just put it in the contents folder and it will make a folder for you where it's going to put everything into. So I'm going to click OK and then I'm going to just leave everything check mark. I'm going to hit import and now it's going to wait for a couple of minutes for this stuff to import here and then there we go. And so now if you come down to our lower left hand corner where it says animations, double click on this. And then double click on this um, this clipboard here. And now you'll see we'll have a sequencer window come up and it has everything keyframed in here. So now if I click play, you can see we have our MoGraph animation now working in Unreal. And so just wanted to kind of share this with you guys, just the possibility that's come about with the new release of 4.23. We can now import MoGraph animations natively into Unreal 4. So hopefully it helped you guys out. You know, it's just a quick tutorial to show you the many things that you could do with Unreal and Cinema 4D. The MoGraph module, bringing that in and being able to run it real time is huge. And there's been a couple of studios have recently adopted this Unreal to Cinema 4D workflow. So in the next coming videos, I'm gonna share some more techniques as I come across them. So make sure you click that subscribe button down below and I'll see you in the next video. Take care, click that subscribe button. I'll see you next time.